Hi everyone and welcome to today's reading. So it's going to be a general reading. We're just going to see what messages come out. Um, a couple of announcements first of all. If you want a personal reading then check out the link in the description box below to go to my website where you can book. Um, if you want to see extra content from me such as like daily lives which I absolutely love doing um, check out my members area. It's the only place I go live. We also do kind of like yoga videos um, so I'm a huge, huge fan of Kundalini Yoga, like it is my saviour, like I'm not going to lie. Um, it keeps me in alignment, like helps me relax. Um, so yeah, we do Kundalini Yoga videos, um, daily lives, and then you get access to the Facebook group where you can kind of connect with people who are on a similar journey um, and support each other as well. It's really, really nice to have that community. So yeah, do check out my members area. You can cancel at any time, so if you don't like it, you can cancel, there's no set subscription. And for daily readings from me, you can check out my Instagram, um, Twin Flame Guidance Five Five Five, where I post there. Um, I post there daily. Okay, guys. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe um, to receive notifications for future uploads. I think that's all. I always forget something. Oh, and I'm also a Tropic skincare ambassador, guys. So Tropic um, is like the only skincare products which I use. Um, if you guys want, let me know in the comments and I can record a separate video to show you my skincare routine so you can see what products I use. Um, I do use quite a lot, but like Tropic like cleared up my skin. Like I used to have really bad acne and their Blue Lagoon like literally it cleared up my skin within like days. Like it was miraculous. So then I bought their other products and um, I just absolutely love it. You know, it's all vegan, uh, cruelty free. It's um, all natural products as well. It's not sold in shops because they make their products, you know, fresh every day in the kitchen. So they won't put them on a shelf, which I absolutely love. Um, uh, so yeah, you can see my Tropic shop below um, and send me an email if you've got any questions about, about skincare. But yeah, if you guys want to see my skincare routine, let me know and I can do a separate video on that. Um, anyway, let's get stuck into this reading. So I'm going to use the Golden Universal Tarot to see what messages we need to have today. Yesterday's was quite um, an exciting reading, so let us see what else comes out. Okay, guys, straight away I'm seeing a banana. Um, very phallic, very like sexual, with a lot of sexual energy coming in, like it's making me feel quite hot. So, I don't know, something is about to pop sexually. Like there's going to be um, a lot of like sexual energy being felt by you. Channel this, guys. If you're feeling a lot of sexual energy um, within yourself or from your counterpart, channel it into something creative. You know, don't let that go to waste. Um, but you might be feeling a little bit sexually frustrated at the moment. So yeah, I'm seeing a banana. Or maybe you guys just really like bananas and just my like dirty mind just like going off on one. Okay, we have the five of wands. There's competition for you. There really is. Like, people are going to be fighting for you. People are going to be asking for your attention, trying to get your attention. Um, something's going to pop. I just keep seeing like something is going to happen like so suddenly and unexpectedly. Right. I need like, I need to take a moment because I'm seeing like there's a lot of um sexual frustration around you. And this is from someone who's currently at a distance with you, but I don't feel like they can resist much longer. The thing is, for some reason, this person feels like they've got to compete for you and they don't want to compete. Um, or it could just be that you're going to receive a lot of offers all at once. Someone's moving slowly though. I can see someone who's moving really, really slowly towards you. There's a lot of frustration here. You're getting a bit pissed off at how slowly they're moving. You're like, I want this now. You know, you really do. You want this to hurry up. You want this now. You don't want to wait any longer. You're getting frustrated. Six of Pentacles. So there is going to be an offer coming in. Eight of Wands. Someone's going to be communicating with you. Someone's going to be communicating with you and there is an offer coming in from this person. Someone wants to bring about some kind of balance to your connection. I literally see them giving you a gift though. So it feels like quite a physical thing that you're going to be given it's going to start with a message and then this person's going to come and give you something physically and i see things moving very very quickly from there 
So, what is going on, Spirit? I just see so much happening at once, and I feel like you're going to be really confused about this. But you're just going to be looking around you like, I do not know what to do. It's like you found yourself in the middle of a situation where there's a lot of conflict around you. And you just don't know. My dogs chew everything. And you just don't know what it is you, you should do. Like, you're just looking at this situation. And you're like, I don't know how I've got myself in this situation. I want to get out. Um... You're really stable and grounded though. So I literally see because you're so grounded, you're like rooted, you're like anchored in the center of this and people are coming towards you. And it's like you feel stuck in the center of this because you're attracting all this energy, but it's not necessarily what you asked for. But because you're so grounded, like you kind of, you're struggling to see a way out of it. You're struggling to, to see like movement here. Um... I do think something's going to come to light with this full moon we've got on the 4th, 5th of July, lovers. It's a choice. There's going to be a decision for you to make around this full moon. This is definitely like romantic competition here. Someone's waiting for you to give them something and I feel like you're not. What I'm seeing here is that you are the Six of Pentacles. You are the person who's in the middle of this. And like, there's going to be two or more people here waiting for you to give to them. But you're being so careful about who you give your energy to. It's like you're here, you've got this one pentacle. Who are you going to give it to? You're trying to decide. You're trying to work out who who is worth this commitment. Who do you want to choose here? Ultimately, you only want to choose someone who's going to choose you back. So you're trying to work out, you know, who's actually here to stay? Who's who's here to commit? Who wants to take your hand? Because the thing is, when there's this kind of competition, when people see something which is like popular or wanted or admired, everyone wants a bit of that, you know? But it's like, well, what's your intention? Are you here because you like competition or are you here because you like me? That's what you're asking. So I think if someone's coming back from the past, you're very much like, but are you here because you saw me moving on or are you here because you actually want to be with me? You're seriously asking those questions. And I do feel like, I feel like someone is definitely coming back. The Six of Swords. Someone is moving towards you and you're going to have two or more choices and you're just like, what's your intention? What, you know, you've been gone a while. Like you're here looking at this cat. And it's like this person literally like fucked off. This person disappeared from your life, went to go and roam and be free and be independent. And now they're coming back and you're like, well, one, where have you been all this time? And two, why now? Like, why are you coming back to me now? That's your question. It's like, as soon as you start to entertain other people, um, that is when this person's coming back in and you're like, well, I don't know if I want it anymore. Right, let's get some more cards, see what the situation is. Yeah, Six of Swords. As you're moving forward, someone's coming back. Okay, I feel like you have so many past lives with this person because I'm getting a pain in the back of my neck and they're showing me the Akashic Records. So I do feel like there's a lot of unresolved stuff with this person. So that's why they're coming back in because your contract is not complete. What is the outcome here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're going to decide, guys. But this person's definitely approaching you with an offer. And they're at a distance from you right now. There's a big wall between you both. And I'm seeing this person trying to overcome some of this distance in order to be with you. But they've not been communicating. This person's been so slow to move towards you. So it's like when they finally come in, you're just like, well, I actually don't know what I want anymore. Or I don't know if I want you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So this is very much like this person's just fucked off for like maybe like six months here. It could very well be six months because there's lots of sixes. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and we've got the Lovers. So someone's been disappeared for maybe like six months here and you're just like, well, where have you been? Yeah, Knight of Wands. They're coming in with so much passion. I feel like this is a person coming in with their banana. I'm not going to lie. I think this person's coming in with some very sexual energy. 
and this seven of swords on the bottom in the past there's been deceit here in the past this person has broken your trust there's been betrayal there's been lies like i'm really getting this person has lied there's been manipulation and as a result of that i think they're coming in in july i think i like really feel july august maybe this person's already come in for some of you this person came back around may time like a little bit um but between may and august i am seeing a lot of a lot of this like happening so this person who has been disappeared for some time is coming back in with their banana with their sexual offer and you're like well i've got other offers like i, can, I actually feel like this person's coming in with their like with their wand like with their sexual offer and you're already holding one you're like i've already got someone or like i don't i don't know if i want yours like i can please myself do you know what i mean it's like it's a very independent energy i'm picking up from you it's like when this person comes in you're like well one either like i've already got someone else now i've already got other offers or i'm enjoying being single or you're like well i can satisfy myself so i don't even need you to pleasure me like i want more i want more than sex you've got to you've got to come in with something tangible yeah look i split the deck and ten of pentacles here you know you're like you have to come in and offer me something long term you have to offer me commitment otherwise i'm just going to continue doing my thing like i am not in the same place where i was before i don't need you in the same capacity i'm not codependent anymore i love this guys your energy is amazing today another six I mean, so many wands, like, this person, again, coming in holding a wand, but, like, there's two of them, two people here, there's someone who's in this night energy, and this is, I feel, the person from the past, who's going to rush in and communicate quite soon, it's going to be sexual communication, and they're going to come in, and... They definitely left. They left before, but they're coming in strong because they're trying to get out of a third party situation or they do not want you to move on. We're going to look into this person's intentions in a second because I need to, I'm going to get some clarity for you. The six of wands, this is someone who's much more stable. There's someone else who is approaching you with an offer, but this person doesn't just have a wand. They also have like this little reef here. And I think this person, um, yeah, there's a lot of sexual energy, but I also see them offering you peace and harmony. And that's what you want right now. You want something which is harmonious, something which is like stable. So, right, let us see. Uh, I'm going to switch decks. I'm going to see, person from the past, what are their intentions? The person from the past, what are their intentions? The star. They do want to be with you for sure they see you as this light in their life you are their wish fulfillment their total wish fulfillment they do have good intentions but are they ready for this commitment eight of cups i think they've still got more growth to do i think this person has definitely been focusing on their spiritual journey they've been healing they've been trying to find their fulfillment and they're realizing that actually you are their fulfillment so this person do you know what credit to them like this person from the past they do have good intentions for you um but it's about what they come in with maybe this person's going to come in with a sexual offer you're going to say no and then they're going to come in with something stable that could very well happen maybe you're going to have to send them away to do this though yeah nine of swords okay so this person does have good intentions but it's coming in sexual it's coming in like purely sexual to start with i do think it will develop i do think it will grow but there's still some fears and triggers for this person to work through ultimately the reason why they're rushing in is because they feel competition around you so it's like they're coming in in that energy so they might come in prematurely before they're actually ready so give them a bit of time here to actually find their stability i want to see new person so this wand you're holding currently what is this about five of wands it's for competition it is it's for competition it's um let's see what their intentions are then 
Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. So do you know what? This person actually does want to grow something. The thing is, this person's really committed to growing something stable and long term here, which is why they might move quite slowly. But they're definitely looking to nurture this connection and build it into something. Um, with the Two of Swords, I do think like there's still a decision to make and the High Priestess. So you're not meant to really see the full picture about this other person or this competition, but it's divinely guided. It's because you're in alignment that you are attracting this. There's Two of Swords, ultimately there's going to be a choice. I feel like this other person around you, who either you know now or is coming, this competition, um, they've not quite made a choice about what their intentions are just yet. This person's still deciding because they, they're stable. This person like doesn't want to rush things they don't want to be impulsive this person wants to grow um it's a very fated connection there okay just let me get a couple of more cards with my golden universal tarot five of swords someone's walking away from the battle I also think this is guidance for you guys about how you handle this situation. Handle it with like love and compassion. With this two of wands. There's a lot of healing going on right now. Um, but you might very well find yourself in the middle of a third party situation. I see someone looking back at the past with regret right now. And that's why they're going to come in with this offer. Nine of Swords, yes, yeah, someone's really in their head right now. I do think you're going to have to be patient. Temperance has come out. So Spirit's saying, be patient. This situation is going to balance out. There's actually no need for you to rush here. There really isn't. Like, I don't see, like, an immediate commitment being made. Just that, you know, you will have a choice to make at some point about what it is that's going to bring you your fulfillment, what it is you actually want to do. Yeah, you're in the Empress here. So you're feeling really powerful, really successful. Lots of people are admiring you right now. So be patient, see what offers come to the table and make a choice when you feel ready. But I know that there's someone from the past who is rushing in with um, an offer. So guys, let me know in the comments what resonated, what happened, because I think for some of you, this is going to start happening really, really soon. Um, let's just get some messages from this person from the past. So let's get some messages from them. I'm at a crossroads. I am choosing which path to take. You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. And the final message from them. Others are trying to tell me what to do. So I do feel like this person wants to make it work with you. They've had outside influences like friends trying to give them advice. And it's just been poor advice, guys. And now this person's trying to decide which path they want to take towards you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Send you all so much love and light. Um, and don't forget to like, comment and also hit subscribe.